So I'm kicking off the month of May with a super simple cocktail because that's what I like to do. I like simplicity. Three ingredients, that's all you're gonna need, and one spirit total. We're looking at how to make a caipirania. Let's go! My body is ready. And remember, if you like what you're about to see, hit that like button and subscribe. Hello. Hi. Let's take a look at what you're gonna need to make this cocktail. You're gonna want cachaca of your choice. We don't have many options in Toronto, okay? So I went with Leblon. This is all we got. It says it's from Brazil, and it says it's made from sugarcane. I'm going with it. If this is a shitty brand, don't judge me. Okay. You're also gonna want sugar. I'm using granulated sugar because I cannot find cane sugar. So once again, don't judge me. Mm-hmm. And next, two limes. One we're gonna use to muddle, the other is gonna be for our garnish. For our glass of choice, we're gonna be using a rocks glass. So I'm gonna be doing this the way I see South Americans do it, okay? I'm trying to keep this as close to tradition as possible. So if this doesn't look familiar to you, I'm sorry, I'm doing what I wanna, I, I, hey. Hey, I'm being safe, okay? And now, it's time to freak out! with your ingredients. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our lime and cut both ends off, right? That way it's flat on both sides. Next, we're gonna take our knife and you're gonna cut downwards along the edges to remove as much of the pith as possible, okay? You can leave a, a little bit on, but let's try to take as much off as possible. And the reason for this is so that you minimize on the sourness of the drink. If I paid attention. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut those edges off. One more here. I really need to sharpen this knife, Jesus Christ. Next thing you're gonna do is cut this lime in half. So we're gonna go straight down the middle. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because we're gonna remove those little white lines from inside so that's even more pith within the lime. So we're gonna try and cut that out. That way there's no sourness whatsoever. I just might butcher it because this knife is so dull. It's sickening. It's sickening how dull this knife, look, look at this. Oh my God. I'm gonna switch knives because this knife skipped leg day. 100%. Let's use the smaller one. So we're just gonna go here. Oh my goodness, they're all dull. These knives couldn't cut flesh. Now that we've removed all the pith from our lime, we're gonna go ahead and give it a few slices. Okay. Beautiful. What we're gonna do now is get those limes tossed into our cocktail shaker. And then you're gonna grab a tablespoon of your sugar. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, they know what they're doing. So there we go, a whole tablespoon. Now I'm gonna grab my muddler and we're gonna lightly muddle while rotating to get all that lime juice mixed in with our sugar. You don't, want to push, uh, you don't want to press down too hard, sorry. I'm getting all my words messed up. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you guys how it looks. So this is pretty much after the muddle. Now next, what you want to do is get two ounces of your cachaca, pour it in to the shaker. Ooh, that was actually pretty heavy. Mmm. I've never actually had this one, uh, Leblon. Leblon. I've never actually had it, so I'm pretty pumped to see what it tastes like. Now let's get some ice tossed into our shaker. As always, I'm using that Ziploc bag because we're making cocktails at home. We're just gonna get a good amount of ice in there. Get some nice dilution going on. Now let's get this guy sealed up and shake off some demons. Oh yeah, feeling tight and vascular. 
So this cocktail is fresh out of the bush. We don't need any strainers. We're just gonna take our mix. We're just gonna take our mix and pour it straight into the glass, like so. Ooh. Look at that, like right at the top, just at the tip. I like that milky green that it has. It's oh, so rich. Ah! We're not done just yet though. Let's add a little more ice to the top. Make it look glamorous, you know, give it like a, a snow capped vibe. I like to call it pixie dust or a snow cap, whatever works. I'm sorry, I'm just digging into this bag with my hands because we're making cocktails at home. There we go, look at that. My crushed ice isn't perfect because I don't have a fancy machine. My mallet doesn't work with me most of the time and my ice is subpar at best, but I do what I can. And that looks really good so far. God, and it's frosting along the glass too. Oh. <laughs> so now for our garnish, we're just gonna get one simple lime wedge, throw it on the top, add some extra pizzazz, if that's the right word, to this cocktail. Just gonna cut it right down the middle. My God, this lime is so bad, it's like super green and like thick. Like it's very hard. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Ah, God, look at that. You know what? Let's just take it and probably sit it right here. This cocktail just might spill over, but it doesn't matter because let me just get it in the middle here for you to see. Cause this is a beautiful capirania. Look at that. That is a capirania. And just like that, our capirania is complete. Now it's time for our taste rating to see just what we're dealing with. Now I kind of screwed up. I, I fill this like right to the brim. So it's definitely gonna spill over a little but I'm just gonna slurp it real quick. Mmm, so good and tasty. <sighs> this is it. This is good. Holy Jesus. This is really good. I'm really trying to not be extra right now, but th this is really good. This cocktail speaks to me on many spiritual levels because I love simple cocktails. And the fact that you can make glasses of this, like refills upon refills with just a single bottle of cachaça and some household ingredients. This is nuts. This cocktail for me is ridiculously good. I like it, it has some good flavor, there's some kick. I'm pleased, I'm pleased. The cachaça, I don't know if this is considered great by Brazilian standards, but for me, it, I love the flavor so far. It has that nice sugar cane tech, that sugar cane, mm, you know, like you taste it and it's like, damn, that's a good ass sugar cane in this room. I think this is gonna be in my top three from now on because as always, if it's easy, it's my favorite, hands down. But don't take my word for it. You take that sip and love life. For my next video though, I'm thinking, so the funny thing is this was actually supposed to be a caipirania and a caipiroshka all in one video, but I don't know, man. I, I just, I just didn't feel like doing two cocktails. I don't like doing two cocktails in one video. I find it, like there's only so many cocktails in the world. Like I need to make sure I don't use up all my options too soon. So I think my next video will either be a Kaipiroshka. If you've been here for a while, <laughs> yeah, you know, we're not going to talk about that old video. But anyway, either a Kaipiroshka or Sky Juice. My very second video was the Sky Juice, but I want to redo it. I want to redo it with everything I've learned, all the skills I've gained and my camera angles and personality and all that stuff. I, I need, cause I love Sky Juice. Sky Juice is one of my favorite cocktails. I cannot let it, I cannot let that old video be the only representation of Sky Juice on my channel. So I want to bring it back, do a run back and uh, bring it back to you guys in flavor and absolute hype. But until then, you guys sink your teeth into this caipirania. Let me know if you like it, let me know if you don't. And if you don't, 
I can take that too, because I'm a tough guy. I'll see you guys for my next cocktail. Can you tell this video was very... Can you tell this video was very casual? Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm really... Tr the thing is, I only upload like once a week. So my thought process is, I may as well be more chatty, I guess, and make, make it a lengthy video because uh, it, it just doesn't make sense waiting a whole week to see a three minute video. So I may as well yap away and be myself a little more so that the video can be worth the wait and a little more entertaining. But yeah, that said, I'll see you guys for my next video and subscribe.